morning everybody it's monday morning i made myself a little breakfast because one of my new year's resolutions was to cook my own breakfast every single morning because i used to go to starbucks a lot so this is a chia ube pudding honestly it looks so good i topped it with strawberries coconuts banana and brown sugar and if you're wondering i always pre-cut my fruit in the beginning of the week so yesterday because one thing I noticed is when I don't pre-cut or pre-prep my food, I don't eat it. So now my fridge looks a little something like this. I had different things I prepped. It just makes me so happy. I actually haven't tried this yet, though. We're going to see if this is good or tastes like shit. Because sometimes all the healthy things I make taste like dog food. Honestly, once I add the sugar in there, it tastes really good. Okay, so I just finished my morning meditation and journaling. This is another thing that was on my resolution list and I just wanted to share like a mental health check-in because I know a lot of you guys have watched my videos when I was depressed in the summer last year. And maybe you guys are curious on how I've been doing. So, I've been very happy lately and I was actually just journaling. The reason why I think I'm happy is because I let go a lot of my identities that didn't serve me last year. So let me explain because I know that's a lot to take in. So I identify myself as strong, independent, basically can solve everything on her own and makes a lot of money. <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest. These are the things that I value pride on. Like if I don't identify myself, I feel like something's wrong, if that makes sense. And I think last year I made a lot less money just because of, a, I mean, you guys probably also have probably felt this. I just feel like the economy has been really bad in the US at least, there's been a recession. Um, and because of that, I think my career has been affected and I'm not like complaining, okay? I'm not saying, oh my God, like my life sucks. It's just like, I made a lot less money last year. And I think that messed with my ego because I didn't, I could, I had to really be honest with myself and be okay with not identifying myself in those characteristics I, I laid out before. So anyways, I feel like I'm so much happier because I kind of like, like let go of those identities. I don't feel like I need to be anything that I'm not. I know this sounds so cliche, but yeah, basically last year I was in the rush to make so much more money. And if I didn't make money or if a brand deal didn't come, I'd freak out and hate myself and be basically a really bad bully to my own self and I've learned to have a lot of compassion. There's actually this book that I was reading, it's called The Self-Compassion Workbook and my therapist recommended it to me, it's really good. Basically talks about how to be kind to yourself because I had this perception of being kind to yourself is giving yourself a hall pass. You're being kind to yourself because you're lazy, you don't care about striving for success and actually I learned that being self-compassionate is not being easy for on you and being lazy, it's actually being kind so you can actually be more productive it's not productive to be always miserable and hate yourself you know so i thought that was really eye-opening because my there i think i had a misconception with kindness and i don't know i was just reflecting today and then just realizing how much better my self-compassion is like this morning i kind of woke up a little later than normal i woke up like 8 a.m and i didn't get started with my day till 9 a.m and I was going to beat myself up and like, oh my God, you're so lazy, you're a piece of shit. But I have trained my brain to just be like, you know what? I deserve sleep. I'm allowed to wake up at a time where my body feels like it's comfortable. So I just feel like I've made so much major improvements and I wanted to share this with you guys. If you're struggling with your self-talk, your purpose, or just being um, flexible on yourself, you should read this book. It's... Uh, so good. Also, I told you guys we're renovating our rooftop space to make it perfect. We actually just got this. This is new. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's like a little chest and we're putting all our pillows and different rugs and cushions. This has been here before, but I just took it out just so the rain doesn't get make it moldy and gross. We actually also just got an umbrella. So I'm setting that up back there. Coffee table. I'm going to get a rug and a hammock that's going to go right here. I am so excited, you guys. It should be all done in the next few weeks, so comment below if you guys want a little rooftop renovation tour because I'm trying to make the space the ultimate beachy vibe. I'm having a pre-surf snack. This is a little morning round. I really don't want to surf today because I'm tired and the water's cold. Guys, the water is literally 58 degrees, which is like pretty cold, but we're gonna go anyways. You guys, I am in disbelief right now. I just finished surfing and 
I know I said I didn't want to surf today because I was tired and I was just having really rough days surfing. If you guys haven't seen my last vlog, sometimes I paddle out and I literally don't get any waves at all. And like today, I not only got three waves, but I did my best cutback ever. I didn't film it because no one was with me, but even like this random kid on shore was like, that was awesome. I don't know why I'm like so emotional, but like surfing so frustrating for me because I want to get good, but I'm not there yet. And like some, most days I try my best and I don't get anything. And it's like really, really frustrating. And it's like today, like something clicked. And I'm like so happy. People are like in front of my car watching me about to cry in front of you guys. But yeah, like if there's anything in life you feel like you're not there yet at, and it's so frustrating and you want to give up and like you just keep trying and nothing's going, like don't give up because <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I'm back from surfing. I'm making my lunch right now. I actually made a few days ago some chicken curry with eggplant and carrots. I'm in my chef era and I think it's working. One thing that's helping me to cook more is to meal prep, but like not in like make everything on Sunday and then eat it throughout the week. My meal prep is just planning my menu for the week and getting the groceries and then cooking it as I please. It's been really nice to be in my chef era because I save money and it's healthy and I just love my cooking. Chicken curry is my favorite because it's so easy and you can eat it throughout the week. Um, I also am gonna make salmon this week, banh mi. I'm, a sh I'm in my chef era, I'm telling you. This is what lunch looks like. Yay! <laughs> Mm. I just finished my curry and I'm still hungry so I'm gonna make myself some kimbap I went surfing for like an hour and a half so I think that's why I'm still hungry I like to have those like frozen sushi rolls because for moments like this when I just like need something to eat and consume at like the very moment the kimbap is ready Um, if you guys haven't had kimbap, it's like a Korean rice roll. It's like sushi basically, but there's no fish. And I'm also gonna make a coffee with it because surfing makes me so sleepy and I still have some stuff to do, so. I'm gonna make this. I also, I use two kinds of milk for my latte because I'm crazy. Wow. Hopefully I don't spill my latte like the way I spilled my matcha last time. You love to go to McDonald's where you get so many straws. One of my other New Year's resolutions is to hang out with more friends because I feel like I prioritize work, I prioritize health, but my social life, I sometimes struggle to prioritize and I think that's just because I want to be successful and I find that I try to put myself before others, which is not always a good thing, so, Today we are going to hang out with friends. Why do I feel like that's such a rare statement for me to say? Me and my best friend, actually from high school, her name is Marin. I made a video with her back on this channel really long time ago, like 10 years ago. But me and Marin are going to a girls movie night uh, at my friend's house in Orange County. And I'm so excited because I don't really like to hang out with new people sometimes, especially when it's my personal life for like for work I can network I can make my way around a room but for some reason like if it's like a personal hangout I find it so uncomfy um but we're gonna put ourselves out of our comfort zone and have a little girls day say hi Marin hi! oh that thumbnail hi! so I saw this all over TikTok basically inside here is a plushie do we know the options or is it just Hello Kitty? I think there's other Hello Kitties. Okay, okay. I don't know if they're all Hello Kitty or not. Should we take a sip first? Um, and then drink it, right? Wait, how do I open this? How, I don't know. Oh, wait, should we open it? Oh, yes. okay. No, I think, <laughs> no, I think yeah, we like should it. open it first. Okay, no, yeah, or drink yeah, it. Yeah. No, 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 drink it and then suspense. Oh, there's like Christmas stuff on it. It's so good. Okay, this is literally $12. This is a whole meal. It's okay, it's a plushie that I know, it was expensive. No, but, but, but the, this plushie's probably from like the dollars. And she probably orders it bulk on AliExpress. It's They're like, it works. 
<laughs> They're like 20 cents a piece. Here, ready? I paid $5 for it. How far down do you think the drink goes? Mm. Like to here? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, that's true. It's like, it's like a scam. Mmm. I got a jasmine green tea with boba. Whoa. Good, good stuff. Okay, now let's do what we signed up for. I right? love the multi-cam setup. <laughs> Ready? Let's open it. Uh, ah! Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, it's orange! Wait, it's orange! Wait, wait what? Wait, 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 it's not coming out. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, it's so cute. Ah, oh wait, this is so cute. I love mine. Wait, which one do you like better? I like yours better. Oh, let's switch. Wait, actually? Yeah, I like cinnamon roll. Wait, wait, let me think. <laughs> let me see this. <laughs> the thing is, this is not really me, but I like the, I like the idea of a bum bum with a cinnamon. No, 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 that's wait, my melody. My melody. Both are cute. Both are good options. I'll be fine with either, but whichever one you like better. I'm just not a pink girl, but you know what? Switch. You, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, I, I think I like this. I like the idea of a ball and a keychain better, so I, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, it's going on the. But do you actually like? Oh, I see, that looks cuter. It, see, it looks good. What if I ask for it back right now? <laughs> do you want it? You can have it back. I'll take either one. They're both sure? cute. Yeah, I don't want you to feel regret. I like this one better. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marin. It's okay. My melody is my second favorite. Wait, actually? What's your favorite? Cinema roll. Oh, shit. Okay, guys. So, we're here at my friend's place. It's kind of gnarly that uh, my friend lives here, but her name is Jazz, and she's having a girl's night. And look at this table. Oh, it's so cute. We have a charcuterie. I think we have wine in this canister yeah um we also have my contribution which is mochi donuts and we have crispy cream and artichoke dip and yogurt shallot dip nice yeah, you sound eat. so normal like i'll be like, I'll be like okay I'm, okay guys i'm gonna go <laughs> I, have, I have no shame i will like vlog like while I'm at the doctors. I know that's good. You need to be like that. I think it's because I used to vlog in high school. So like now I have no shame. I started so young that I don't know it better, you know? Like I only know how to embarrass myself. There's regular too. Oh my god, there's love. Oh my god, love. See, she like wins girl. Stop breathing, you're like I like talking at any point. Oh my god, look at this view. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm in love with this place. Oh, this is my stuffed animal, by the way, Perry Platypus. Good morning, guys. It is Friday now, so it's been a few days, but I want to show you guys my new little outdoor table I set up. You guys, I am officially Martha Stewart because I can build anything and create anything because I set up this Ikea thing by myself. I know it's just assembling furniture together, but this is a lot of work and I this bar balcony table together by myself and I'm so happy. Look how cute it is. Okay, we're back inside because it was getting a little loud out there, but I want to take you guys on my date because I am surfing with some friends today in San Clemente and I'm really excited because I haven't seen some of my friends in a while and Oh, why does my living room look kind of nice here? Yeah, we're gonna leave in like an hour or two. I either have really bad memory or I haven't shown you guys my new rooftop furniture yet, but I can't remember if I showed you guys my new rooftop furniture yet, but here it is. I'm afraid to edit this video and like go back and see that I showed you guys this like a few days earlier. I think I have dementia. I literally showed you guys my rooftop a few days before and I did the whole rooftop tour again like i have some sort of memory problem like what the fuck oh yeah if you guys don't know i have a gym area on the right side i guess i haven't shown you guys this in a while but essentially i just have a barbell weights and these uh dumbbells and a bench yeah the space is coming together slowly and surely i'm so excited and usually i meditate right here um and that's what i'm gonna do right now All right, 
I'm gonna make my morning coffee. But before I do, I wanna show you guys and remind you about my Darmination journals, which are the journals I designed. It says, let's get the spread. I try to journal every single day. And if you guys want to do the same and you want a really cute journal to write in, this one is for you. Also guys, I kind of need some feedback. I don't know if I should make my little surf vlogs 10 minutes long or like 20, 30 minutes long. Like basically, do you like it when it's like this where I have like two or three days combined so it's a longer vlog? Or do you like it where I normally do it where it's like one day, one vlog, it's like an eight to 10 minute little episode. I personally watch vlogs that are on the longer side because I like to put it in the background when I'm cooking, working, or doing stuff like that. But I don't know if you guys like that. So yeah, comment below, long or short. That'd be so helpful. Oh yeah, and by the way, I've recently been making coffee because after my last vlog when I made matcha and it spilled everywhere, I was like, I don't know why. I just got so angry at matcha. Like, no shade to her, but I was so upset. So I've been making coffee and I have an espresso machine, so I should utilize that a lot more, but I don't, so now I'm doing it right now. Oh. I'm doing it right now. Did you guys see that? I was literally about to spill. Okay, so, oh my god! <laughs> Why am I so clumsy? I use two kinds of oat milk. One is regular and one is vanilla. Basically what I do, I pour it at the same time so it doesn't melt too fast. And at the top, I add a splash of vanilla oat milk, just a tiny bit. Oop. All right, it is 9.47 a.m. I'm going to pick up my friend Marin, which you guys have met, and we're gonna go surf in T Street San Clemente. This should take about an hour and a half to, to get there. It's quite a far drive, but I put my music on, we're chilling, it's a vibe. I also have my 5'8", shortboard over there um which i'm so excited to ride okay i'm taking a pit stop to boil and bake so the people i surf with say these are the best bagels in all of socal and i got a lox bagel with cream cheese peppers chives i'm so hungry guys i only had coffee today as you guys can see so i'm like so excited look at that bagel all right guys so we're here at T Street San Clemente. I'm so excited. I have Marin behind the camera and we're about to see some of my homies, fellas, <laughs> my friends. And we're gonna get uh, naked together and suit up. <laughs> Just kidding. But I know this bitch, she surfs like 10 foot waves in China. <laughs> Who the fuck surfs in China? So we asked CJ to bring another board. So now she has a smaller board to maneuver. I think I can paddle I all the pro. Look at those. They look like they're gonna be pro surfer in the future. Exactly. It's funny, I think I know that guy. The, the guy who's filming playing right now. Oh really? I think he filmed my other friend the other day. Oh my god, look at us so professional. We all have a filming buddy except C. I'm sorry, my boyfriend is not available today. <laughs> Everyone has a job, guys. Everyone here is jobless. <laughs> it hurts a little bit. How are you feeling? I'm kind of nervous. It looks a little bigger. Like, some sets look kind of big, but it's going to be fun. I'm yes. with my besties. Yes. And I normally don't have friends to surf with, so it'll be fun. You are very tall. <laughs> look at your face. <laughs> you are really tall.
Alright guys, so we're here at Sancho's Tacos. Yeah, we are. Are you hungry? I'm starving. What's your favorite food after surfing? Pizza. Oh, <laughs> What's, oh sorry. What's your favorite food after serving, Blaine? After serving tacos, for sure. Hey! A, a nice, like, California burrito after surfing does hit really well. Uh, hey, I got, I got, I have to save room for pizza. Oh yeah, my god. Acai bowl is pretty poor. Mm. Acai bowl. What's your favorite meal after filming? Uh, California burrito for sure. Hey! What's your favorite meal after surfing filming? I just like sushi <laughs> at all times. I haven't taken you to sushi yet. What's your favorite meal after serving? I have burritos. burritos yeah. Okay, so it's just CJ who likes pizza, weirdo. I got a quesadilla with a Mexican Coke. A smart, A smart. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Content! I actually so funny. I did my nail. Oh, I told you. Right? I did my nails so I could do ASMR. That's so funny. Really? <laughs> you told me. You're like the nail tapping. <laughs> She's my executive content producer. Like, she was the one who's like, Jade, if you do ASMR, it's gonna get more views. I'm like, okay. I, yeah, I, I think that yeah. it would. No, I believe that. Yeah, it's what I want. Anyways, we just finished surfing for like, I don't know, two and a half hours, three hours? Yeah, that was a while. Uh, now we're gonna eat and then go home. Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.